Check! Check! Cool. Doctor, doctor, check all the vials! Doctor, doctor, no wits for saying you can be alive while we're already dead! Yeah! Nick Deddy is one of the <laughs> more out of control performers I've ever seen. <laughs> I think that Nick Deddy brings an element to Wolves at the Gate that was there before, but he kind of, he puts a youthful twist on it that I think people can really uh, kind of identify with in a sense. And I think the thing about Nick is that it's a controlled chaos where he is crazy, but he really, uh, he does it in a way that's really engaging. I think it adds a ton to our live show because he's a, uh... I mean, he's significantly younger than us, but he uh, connects with the crowd in a completely different way than any of us really do. First time we met our vocal, our now vocalist Nick was at a uh, a friend a, a show that we were playing at, um, and his old band was performing, and uh, I just remember sitting in the back, thinking to myself, "We should talk to that guy." And it was, it was funny because I feel like every other person in the band had that same thought. I just remember I started sharing the gospel and it was like two minutes in and uh, I was just praying. I was just like, Lord, I was just like, no, it just seems like nobody's listening. And uh, Nick just like, I didn't know him at the time. He just like walked across like the middle of like, uh, you know, just the floor. And uh, he just like, just like locked eyes with me and he was just like smiling and he was just watching me as I shared the gospel. And he was just like, kind of like silently encouraging me. And I was just like, I was just like really thankful for that and I just like continued to share the gospel and um, after the show like I just went up and talked to him and I just told him I was like hey man I know you probably didn't think that was much but I really appreciate you just like being that encouragement and uh, and that's just like how we got I got to know him and uh, you know obviously thought we were, he was like super talented and you know, we had him try out for the band and I don't know he's just he's been another blessing just like Millhouse like you know both su super talented individuals and I don't know what they're doing in our band. Um, but <laughs> when, when Nick tried out, like he had worked his butt off to like, um, memorize all of the lyrics, every single part, like even some of the parts that Colin didn't do live that he had recorded on our EP that he just never, we almost forgot existed because he never did them live. When Nick first tried out, he was screaming every single part. And like he has a great range too with his voice. Um, so I just remember being blown away once again after he tried out. My initial reaction was, uh, this kid is loud. I will bless you! And he is powerful and he, sing he screams from his, his chest. He screams from his body. <laughs> I won't hesitate to say that his scream is one of the best I've heard, to be honest, like as far as bands that I've seen live and even, you know, recorded and demos and stuff. Right, so keeps going that his part. style of screaming is very aggressive, which fits our music very well. I think that will make the music heavier, <laughs> which is the cliche yeah. phrase. But I, don't, I just I think the, the strength of his voice will be very apparent on the album. I think Nick cares about each take that he does. Like, from what I, from the short time that he's been in the band that we've uh, spent time tracking him and getting ready for this album, uh, Nick, like, you kind of can give him an idea of what to do, and he'll he'll really persist until that idea is seen through. And then if he has another idea, he'll add that on. But I think that Nick does a really good job of. Uh, in the context of the song saying like, I don't need to be here or I need to be here. And he can really, uh, he's getting the feel for what we're doing, even though he's, you know, only a couple months into the band. I would say just like, let this jam. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now that I listen to it, like at the end, that ending yeah. word, I just, I really feel like I can come up with something so much better than that. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I mean, that's fine. But, uh, but for the most part, I mean, how do you feel about the, the chorus and everything? I feel sweet. Yeah. Or, feel good about it I feel sweet I like I like the the idea of screaming behind uh you rule you yeah. with amnesty just yeah. it adds so much more emotion well like you to would it. do the first half of that mm -hmm. like with me right and then you yeah. and then yeah yeah but I just that adds so much to it I love it I think the big
big thing I love about him is that he means what he's screaming. This is like it's not lost on him while he's performing. Like he almost gets lost like in like uh, thinking about the content of the songs, uh, which I love because like that's like what I'm all about. You know, that's like that's why I write songs is so I have an opportunity to share the gospel more with people. Anytime I show him lyrics to a new song and I'm showing him the vocals and stuff like that, he's just like, you know, sign me up, let's do it. It's funny because Nick is probably one of, is like super talented, but he's been over, he's been under probably the most scrutiny out of anybody that's ever joined the band. Um, just because of how important the role of like being a front man in the band is. He He's probably the, he could possibly be like the most humble guy in the band. I don't think he knows it. And I don't think he, <laughs> he's still young, so it seems like weird and awkward. But um, anytime we have like had any sort of like criticism or anything like that, he just like, he just takes it. He's like, yep, okay, I will do this now, you know? And it's just like, I don't know. It's, it's humbling to me because I'm 25 years old and I'm just like, yeah, like, that's awesome. Thanks, man. Like, that's a good example to me as well. There's guys out there that can scream and they're good, uh, but are not because we think that we're like super spiritual or we think that we're better than anybody. Our standards are high because like the bar has been set high, like by Christ. Like, you know, Christ said to be holy just as I am holy. And that's like our goal as the four of us in the, in the band at that time. And we wanted to find a guy that like desired to pursue righteousness and like you know, to put aside earthly things and to, like, you know, share the gospel with people. That was his goal and his passion. And Nick is young. He's 19 years old. And he's not like most 19-year-olds. He's a lot like most 19-year-olds in some aspects, but he's not like a lot in other aspects. And those were... that That's what really set him apart. Boom.